Russian rookie Jared. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, man, I got kicked off the freaking Uber app. <laughs> Is anybody surprised? No, man. <laughs> I was getting these uh, messages saying uh, Uber's not a party on wheels and uh, we had some reports of some inappropriate activities going on in your vehicle uh, with passengers and uh, gosh I can't even tell you how much shit they're complaining about man one 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 cat said <coughs> uh, one of the messages said that a girl went into a uh, was reported going into a, leaving my my car going into a gas station and had white uh, white substance all over her face and her shirt. I don't remember that shit, man. I, I, that has to be one of the nights when I wasn't uh, logged onto the app because I, I wouldn't remember that, man. <clears throat> and then one incident said, <laughs> No, you bastards, man. I'll read the dirt pit down below. That ain't what happened. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> you, you catch me. just like to stir up drama sometimes. I, I understand it, man. Trying to trying to make the uh, the the channel interesting and fun, and it is. Okay, so anyway, no, what really happened, man? <laughs> I, okay, here's what really got me kicked off of Uber. It's so silly, man. This is why I say Uber is unreliable technology. It's unreliable for drivers. Uh, okay, and uh, this is why I said in the beginning, you know, don't quit your trucking job to go drive for Uber. All right. All right, so uh, here's the thing. Okay, I picked up a guy at the airport, an Air Force guy, and I took him to the Air Force base. Well, at some point, I, I, there was something that happened, I guess, that I didn't notice, okay? All right, I, I, I'll come back to that part. All right, I dropped the guy off at the Air Force base, but when he tries to get in, when we tried to get in the base, he was having issues, something to do with his card and... They didn't know who he was and all this stuff, man, but they let him in. Okay, so I dropped him off. All right. And I left. When I got, I, w I left and I went to the gas station. <clears throat> I, I stopped and I looked on my app. I noticed that my rating, my star rating went way down, man. I'm like, what the, <laughs> what's that about, man? I thought he was cool. I mean, I, what? The dude must have gave me a bad review or something. I don't understand why, you know? Maybe it's because he had so much trouble at the gate and had to wait so long to get on the base. He thought he wanted to try to blame it on me somehow, you know? I don't, I don't know. So, uh, I, I was looking at that and I was thinking, why would he do that? Why would the guy give me a freaking bad review like that? And lower my rating. It has to be him. So I'm thinking, oh shit, maybe he left something in my car. Or something like that. So I'm looking around. I'm like, I don't see anything in my car. Okay. So I was got out and got and started fueling my car, and I thought, oh shit, I better check my trunk, cause maybe he threw something in my trunk before he got in the car and I didn't see it. You know. Sure enough, I popped the trunk and it's freaking luggage just still in the back of my car. Oh man, dude. <laughs> so. So I'm like, shit, man. So I'm on, getting on the Uber app trying to contact him. And and it says it tried to connect us, but he wouldn't take the call, okay? So I'm like, what the hell? So uh, I drive back to the Air Force Base. I get to the gate, and I tell the security guys that I'm there, there because the guy I just dropped off left his luggage in the back of my car. So they try contacting him. He's denying that it's his luggage, man. And then when I and I showed the security guys, here I am trying to get a hold of him through the app. And when I say I found an item, he's saying resolved. I, 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 you know, issue resolved. He's, he's clicking resolved evidently because they keep sending me messages back saying issue resolved. I'm like, issue's not resolved. This shit's still in the back of my car. And then, <laughs> and and they're and and I'm like, why is he not wanting this stuff back? And it's like, and I'm like, I'm just trying to do the right thing. And I'm like, oh shit, it dawns on me. Oh, he's got something in there, man. He don't want to be caught. Oh shit, man. Especially on the airbase, right? So I told the security guy, I said, look, man, hey, how about this? How about I just set this stuff out of here on the ground and I haul ass? <laughs> and they're like, no, that's not going to work. Okay. So um, they, they kind of, they talked among each other and, 
did their little thing and the guy and the one of the security forces guys said that you'd mind if we take a look at the uh at the uh items in the trunk and i said sure go ahead you know like i could say no you know so they go out and they look at it and they were i, I could tell they were trying their best not to open the stuff and they're looking at the luggage thing what at, like if there's a way to identify him by that by the items in the trunk and they found a tag on one of the bags that had his name on it and i they they, they wrote it down they photographed it and all that stuff and uh and so they had me go back into the uh the office with them and I, they were on the phone and all this and i asked them i said so what's going on i can't just leave this stuff and 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 and, and take off they said no you can't do that i said so what are we doing here and i, and I said the guy's acting like he don't want his stuff back they said we're sending somebody to call on him right now <laughs> so so then then the guy calls me okay he calls me on the freaking phone the guy who the stuff belongs to calls me going i got security forces at my door right now i'm freaking out man what the hell man what the hell and i said dude you gotta come get your shit out of my trunk so i can go <clears throat> he's going man fuck you you know and he hangs up and i'm like what the hell man I'm trying to do the right thing by giving the stuff back and he don't want it. I don't want it either at this point. Okay, because I'm thinking there might be something in there. You know what I mean? So, uh, the security guy told me we're having him arrested and we're forcing him to claim his shit. Okay? Because it's obviously his. All right. So they did, man. They made him claim his luggage. And what happened after that? I have no idea, man. I don't know what happened after that. Okay, but he filed a complaint with Uber and all that shit, man. He told me he was going to. All right, so, because I got him in trouble. And so when I got back to the gate, I mean, uh, they had me meet up with him to drop it give him his stuff. But when I got back to the gate, they said, uh, yeah, he's in big big trouble, man. Because rule number one in, in uh, Air Force is you don't lose your shit. Okay. And I was like, oh, okay, so he's in trouble with his leadership. And they, and they told me, yeah, he's in trouble with his leadership. So he's done. <laughs> so, of course, he's on that free. He's trying to figure out any way he can to get back at me, man. So, anyway, they, <laughs> they kicked me off. But but here's what I found out, man. This is why I say it's unreliable. Uber's unreliable. is because I, I was telling some other people about this last night. Because I was running with Lyft. I ran for Ly with Lyft for a little while last night too um and people were telling me that was the problem with uber is that it don't take much man all it takes is for one person to get on that app you know when when it when it says the the trip has ended you know rate stars all it takes is for somebody to give you negative stars or hit one of them buttons on there i had an issue and that's it man that's it you're deactivated and most of the time what they do is they they uh suspend you for 48 hours then they reinstate your account but hell if this happens all the time <laughs> you see what i mean it's unreliable right okay and i'll tell you another way i'll tell you another way it's unreliable it's, it's basically all uber <laughs> uber is like you're throwing a handful of freaking corn on the ground and sending 100 chickens in there to pick it up it is not freaking there, there is nothing to this shit at all man they did they don't this t it, they call it a technology company but it don't really look like it's very efficient <laughs> because i mean let's 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 face it guys if they really wanted this to work uh wouldn't they just assign people territories because that's what uh to give an example like say if you went and bought you a route with sarah lee or uh what's another one little debbie or something and you were to satisfy customers for them it would be in a specific area right okay they would uh you know most a company that operates something similar to uber anything you could compare it to would assign you a territory if they wanted you to you know if their success depended on you being successful okay they would assign you a territory and they would help you work that territory and build it up right That'd be their business model, but that's not Uber's business model. Uber's business model is to get as many people as they can using the app and just send as many people out there as they can to pick those people up 
with no no method no methodology to it okay there's no freaking they don't it's like the what the fuck they don't know what they're doing man uh whatever okay so uh if i was in the trucking industry i would not be freaking worried about uber at all man <laughs> uh, and, and and they're not really they're not paying attention to these trucking videos Okay, but they're studying that freaking other Roger Rookie channel. Okay, so anyway, guys, uh, uh, man, I, I'm I'm gonna say this. Uh, it is like, it, 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 okay, yeah, and I made some money though. <laughs> I made some money, but it's unreliable, and, and and it wouldn't last. It wouldn't last because what would happen is another issue. If you got out there and started making money, they would figure out what you're doing. And they'd send everybody else out there to do the same thing and take it away from you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, it's, it's like, it's it's not, they're not looking out for the driver. Uh, they don't care. Uh, they got, I guess got so many people signing up that they uh, don't care about whether you're successful or not. Okay, and also, um, uh, I, I don't know. I probably shouldn't go any further than that with it. Uh, I don't like the way they handled the situation with the Air Force guy, man. All right, and suspended me like that. Okay, and also, uh, it just seems like this could be done a lot better. It could be. And so that, I'm just letting you guys know what, what happened, why I got deactivated, and why I kind of feel like Uber may be unreliable technology, an unreliable source of income, really. Okay, uh, but using Uber and Lyft together was beneficial. Uh, the pings were back to back. Lyft, I think, is actually better. Uh, Lyft uses Google Maps instead of Uber's. U Uber's navigation is, man, it's messed up, man, uh, a lot of times. <laughs> but Lyft's navigation goes to Google Maps or Waze, W-A-Z-E, whichever you choose, and it's pretty good. And Lyft seems to be uh, bigger in this area, man. Uh, and, I, and then within an hour, I made 38 bucks with uh, Lyft. And so I might try to run it a little bit tonight. I mean, not though. I mean, shit, what, man? I might just go freaking party tonight or something. I don't know. But uh, anyway, that's my take on it, man. <laughs> Got fired from Uber, man. But if I continue to work this area, it'll, if, if I continue to, to do any ride share in this area, it's going to be through Lyft. But I'll let you guys know. All right. So thanks for watching. Dread out. <laughs>